what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel glad you guys are back super dizzle that we are going to be putting a factory remote start on this is for you guys with this style key we are going to be making it just that much better I don't know the pricing of these kits you guys can find that out on the interwebs um, but the big box, uh, it's going to consist of uh, some decals, um, a uh, override for the function of the remote start system, kind of like a, um, what do you call it, like a valet mode, sort of. Um, got some wiring, some zip ties, and we got this uh, module that is going to be talking between the key fob and the truck so and then in the little box you all are gonna be wondering this is the style key fobs you're gonna have some little tiny guys um, they're all individually packaged let me take one out got them right here little cute tiny guys already come with batteries the last couple I did I had to put uh, the sticker on so they're already coming pre-stickered up but this is really it to install and I'm gonna show you guys what you got to do to install this and you are gonna need IDS to activate some of the uh, remote start features one for the IC the HVAC and a couple other things I'm gonna go over that for you so I'm first down here at the data link connector and you can see there is an electrical connector behind it and we are going to have to unplug that. Ow. Ooh, that's a tough one. Let's see if I can use my left hand here. It's the tip of my finger. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. So we are going to piggyback uh, this harness in the data link connector that we just disconnected is literally gonna plug right in here like that okay only gonna go in one way and then we are going to plug the other end of that harness back into the data link connector again it's only gonna go in one way so that leaves this hanging right here and we're going to go up here to the box we got the box and we are going to plug it into its respective connector here like so um that's what it's going to look like just uh Nothing real pertinent. They give us the zip ties so that we can uh, zip tie it up underneath here. And I'm gonna show you where I put mine so you guys can maybe put yours in the same spot. All right, so um, I've gotten a light down in there so you can see or try to see the exact location that I'm gonna put this. But uh, I'm going right up here and just trying to come right up alongside the A pillar here. And you can see the box. Somebody's already got some, uh, looks like a tracker on this vehicle. I'm gonna just kinda, kinda try to put it in here, tuck it up away and zip tie it to all this uh, malarkey right in here. So that is uh, where, we're gonna, where we're gonna end up and where I would like to see you put yours so that it's not hanging down in an awkward spot. All right, I actually changed where I was gonna put it this white module is your trailer, uh, what do they call it? The trailer control module or something. Um, I could be wrong, it's 2019, it could be different. But I wound up actually just kind of wedging it right here. Um, it's actually, uh, actually in there pretty good. Just gonna kind of, uh, rest itself this piece of metal does not move 
Um, I'm gonna put one zip tie around the bottom here just to secure it in place, but um, I kind of wanted it on something flat and it, uh, yeah, seems to be pretty good right there. So look at that, number one, baby. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put the key in the ignition. We've already got it uh, hooked up and attached. Module programming. We're gonna go to programmable parameters. Gonna go down to remote start. And we are going to remote start, enable, climate control, enabled. Does this have a heated seat? Uh, I can't tell. I need a light. No heated seats. Um, remote start in the IC we need enabled. Lighting in the body control module enabled. We don't have passenger seat. Do we have rear defog? No rear defog. Steering wheel control. We don't have a heated steering wheel either. So we're going to go ahead and hit the tick mark. Check mark. It's going to do its thing. Okay. Instrument cluster reconfiguring. We're going to go through here and make sure that our remote start is now checked. Climate control, auto, last setting, yep. Duration, 15 minutes. The system is checked and on. So now we have to go back to the final programming and we don't have push button okay so we're gonna start we got the door open driver door open we are going to put the key on and off five times and then on the sixth time we have to leave it on the horn's gonna chime three times to learn to let us know that it's in learn mode and then we're gonna press and hold the remote start button for three seconds on each fob, and the horn's gonna beep each time it's successful. So press and hold on the brake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're gonna hold this. My foot is still on the brake. This is the second one. Okay, my foot's off the brake and I am exiting the transmitter learn mode. Okay, we're all done. I'm gonna go ahead, lock, lock the old girl down. Oh, that's locked. And now we're gonna go ahead and give us a uh, Call of Duty double tap. Yeah. Remote started. We've got our key fobs. Um, also, I want to know if the shock alarm sensitivity would work right now. Probably when it's off. Uh, there is a knob. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right, right there. Right top left of your corner of your screen by the zip tie there's a knob that you can use to um, adjust your sensitivity for the uh, shock alarm that uh, also comes equipped with this uh, kit. Alright you guys tell me what you think about that in the comment section below if anybody has to or wanted to install a remote start factory installed kit on their super duty drop me a like subscribe and as always thanks for watching i'll see you next friday